differentiate yourself from other people doing the similar things to what you are doing because you can work out where the gaps are you can work out where your point of difference is by putting in the time and working those things out that's a really important part of your brand strategy that is going to help you to make more success happen in your business because you know what sets you apart and that's also going to give you the recognition that you need in order for people to come and buy from you they have to know who you are they have to trust you they have to like you So my last video was about consistency, and that is a huge part of your brand that impacts your whole business, because when you're consistent, people will recognize you, they will resonate with you, they'll remember you, and you will get results. And that consistency comes from the work of of your brand strategy and the work of your brand visuals. And those two things together help you to get to where you want to be, help you to figure out the answers to those difficult questions when you think, oh, should I do this in my business? Mm. That will work because that aligns with a brand strategy. No, that's a really bad idea because that will take me off course. That will not work with my brand strategy. That will that does not align with my values. And your values and your brand personality are so important because those are the pieces that other people are going to resonate with and that you, you that, that are what you're all about, that are what you stand for. So your values are the most important thing that other people can sort of hinge onto as well. And you're going to use those in everything you do in your business to make sure that your business has meaning that people can understand and people can feel that they resonate with as well and that helps you to build that relationship with your customers so that you know they'll not just want to buy from you maybe once but they might also have brand loyalty because they feel that you are your business relates to them that your brand is something that they want to stand for too so it's sort of about creating that community around you that is all standing for the same thing and it gives you so much focus if you have your brand and you've done the work to know what it is that you're all about then you have focus on what it is that you're about you have focus on what matters you have focus on where you want to go and how you're going to get there and who you're going to work with and if you don't have those things then you're just going to be you know just meandering along doing a little bit of this over here and doing a bit of this over there and never really being quite sure never really being a, a strong enough brand you still have a brand but never being a strong enough brand to really invite people in and help them to get to know you properly and to help you set the expectations for where you want to go in your business as well because you do have a brand you know whether you want to have a brand or not you have a brand so if you put in the work on that brand then it's going to be a better brand than if you just wobble along sort of hoping for the best so doing that work on your brand strategy and working on your visuals to make sure that they can be consistent and you can create something that is attracting the client is so worthwhile and that doesn't just happen it's something that you need to spend some time on and then you will have this fantastic resource that is going to enable you to move forward with intention, with purpose, with no know-how, with understanding that it's the right way to go for you and that you're taking your business in the right direction. And then, of course, when you start employing people, when you start having other people doing work for you or with you, it really helps if you have that brand set so that they can not only know that they want to work with you in your business because they understand what you're all about even if they haven't read your strategy they've got a, a vibe that you're giving off that they feel like they really relate to but also you know that you're going to be finding people who you want to work with you because the people who feel that attraction to your business are going to apply but also you're going to be able to talk to them in the interview and find out what kind of values they they hold what kind of things they care about and if they're going to be a good fit in your business and your brand strategy is going to help you to direct that and make that work for you having your brand visuals created as well is going to impact everything in your business because you have so many different things that you have to put out there you know we're we're all on social media we're all sending emails we all have websites we all have business cards and then depending on what our business is we have other things as well And if you've got a really consistent, really strong brand image because you've spent time putting that together, that's going to impact your business as well because people will see it. They'll know it's you. They might want to um, send you things in colours of your brand. They might say, oh, I've seen this notebook and it's in your brand colour, so I bought it for you. Or they might be keen because they're part of your tribe and they've really got to know you to actually wear your brand on a t-shirt which means that you can sell that to them and you know there's so many different things that you can do once you start thinking about your brand rather than just thinking about your business which is obviously very important and the two are extremely tied together 
But if you've got your brand, then that's going to just make your business work that bit better. It's just going to impact all those decisions, all those thoughts. It's going to help you think of things that are going to be really useful for your ideal client. Because thinking about your ideal client is a really important part of your brand strategy. And that means that you're going to be able to put them in the center of your brand and think about things that are going to be good for them. And that's going to help them. And it's going to make it all about them and not just about what you feel like doing that day because you know you woke up and decided to have toast so it's just about being really clear on what it is that you stand for and then that will impact every decision that you make it will impact every interaction that you have it'll impact every piece of content you create it'll impact what you do when you are at places that you go maybe you've gone to a market or a trade show or a networking event or you're standing in the shops with a, with a um, kiosk or with all these different things that we can do and your brand impacts every single one of those because it's about thinking about all those different touch points that you have within your business. And in each of those touch points, making sure that there is something from your strategy happening to help make that touch point stronger, to help make it better, and to realize different ways that you can integrate what really matters to you in your business into each of these, these moments so that your brand is strengthened. So putting in that work on your strategy and on your visuals really really pays off because people are going to see you they're going to recognize you and it's going to make your life so much easier so if you want to work on your brand then I'd love to help you with that you can do that in the brand success club you can do that with my confident consistency course you can get in touch and we can work on it together it's such a useful thing to do so I really recommend that you go out and you spend some time getting really clear on what your brand is all about because it's going to pay off